I, we promised you an extraordinary guest better than Bono or the Rolling Stones, someone who's had a far more profound effect on the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to have as our guest to make some comments, Madame Françoise Barré-Sinoci, who has just won the Nobel Prize in Medicine with Luc Montagnier for the discovery of the human immunodeficiency, immunodeficiency virus. I'm glad to be here today for different reasons because I think this uh, Nobel Prize will be a, a very good opportunity to express my feeling about the future of research. Future of research in HIV AIDS, of course, but future of research in human disease in, in, in general. Of course, in HIV AIDS research, it's still a long way to go to try to develop a vaccine against infection, or a vaccine against uh, the, the outcome of uh, uh, the infection itself. And I'm convinced also that uh, what we will learn to try to develop a vaccine in the future in HIV AIDS research will be very, very helpful for other fields of uh, human disease. HIV is not the only disease for which we do not have a vaccine today. We, we have a treatment, but we don't have a cure for it. And we know that uh, we will learn, we will progress, only if we continue to have the kind of research that I've just seen on, on the screen, translational research, to have this triangle of uh, epidemiological research together with basic science and clinical research all together. We know that uh, we will need to have new markers for protecting against the infection or this disease. And these new markers need future biotechnology and interaction between basic scientists in the public sector and interaction with the private sector. In our country, in France, this interaction is too weak. So I will try to express this message for the future, to try to promote the interaction between public and, and private sector in the future, to try to develop new strategies to try to fight against HIV AIDS, but to try to fight also against at the same time other human disease worldwide. I'm pers personally convinced that we really need to have new scientists, young scientists with new ideas, creative, innovative ideas. And I'm convinced that these scientists, we have them in Europe. And it's a good opportunity for me to be here today to try to tell the young scientists, come, to, to, to come with us, try to come and bring your new spirit, your new ideas 
to try to fight against those human you know, those human diseases all, all over the world. I think uh, HIV AIDS research should be considered as an example of mobilization reactivities between researchers, clinicians, and also uh, pharmaceutical companies that have been involved at the beginning in diagnosis of HIV infection, later on in treatment against HIV infection. I'm sure for the future that uh, the interaction between uh, uh, company and scientists will help us to develop the treatment for tomorrow and the vaccine for tomorrow. Thank you very much. We are all awarded, we feel all awarded, with uh, Francois Barret. Why? Because he represents exactly what a research life could finally have as an outcome. From the year 92, there is a lot of time in which he has been working, working every day with the same feeling that we were having, were listening on stem cells, on orphan disease, on cancer. We were realizing that this is the space in which, for human welfare, we must invest. We are investing normally in other fields that are not directly related with the treasure of human life. This is the most important, the supreme human right. And health and nutrition and water and peace. All these are these associated human rights because we must provide to every single human being the possibilities of having welfare and good life. Francois Barret represents exactly this. It is not only to her as a Nobel laureate. I would like to ask you also to consider her as a human being, as a woman, as a research person that has been always engaged in favor of human dignity. And it is for this that I would like now to ask you to join me in telling her many thanks for coming this morning to Europe.